Okay, we are at the Henry Dorley Zoo in Omaha. Widely regarded as the top zoo in the world. It's a little bit uh, cool today and overcast. Very cool. But that's the best time to go to the zoo because the animals will be out instead of trying to hide from the heat. But anyway, if you've ever wondered what it's like to go to this zoo, well, just settle in. We're gonna give you a virtual tour. All right, so uh, we got our tickets. Parking is free for two adults, $59.90. So about $30 each. But anyway, yeah, we're going to head in now. All right, the first place we're gonna to go to is the Dome with the world's largest indoor desert. So, Namibian Desert. Well, it's interesting. We're not really seeing much in the way of the animals. They got them tucked in the corners here. A lot of people here. Yeah, a lot of people. I finally saw, I finally Back, see a bird. Yeah. A black snake lover. Yeah, blacksmith clover. There he is. See what's down this way. Yeah, he's hiding up there, isn't he? He's like, oh, why, is, why are these people here? Yay, it's turtle. There's two turtles. There's a smaller one right there. Alright, dwarf mongoose. <laughs> Here's a Sonoran Desert exhibit. We've been there. What is that? Is that a... Looks like a pig. I don't know what it is. Is that what that is? Huh. Let's zoom in on it. Looks like meat. He's having some dinner. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for the desert habitat. Let's go see what's next. Alright, we are heading into the nocturnal exhibit. This nocturnal exhibit is the world's largest, as I understand it. All right, here we go. Into the cave. Yeah, it is dark in here. All right, naked mole rat. In their underground tunnels that they dig out. Okay, the naked mole rat. Yeah, Mexican leaf frog. <laughs> just hanging out, isn't he? Oh, I read it as Mexican leaf frog. <laughs> no, it's a leaf frog. Like, yeah, I like the way they hop around. I guess that's related to uh, rats, huh? Okay. Well, our kangaroos right there. It's kind of like walking through a haunted house a little bit, isn't it? Vampire bats, creepy crawlies on the ground, and the lighting. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty nifty though. Yeah, Johnson's crocodile. Okay. Turtles are over here. Yeah, those are vampire bats. See if I can zoom in on him. Kind of see him. Yeah, this is pretty spectacular here. It's like being inside a cave. Like a crack where the sun can come in. Huh. These are Egyptian fruit bats. Yeah, they're very active. Well, 
Well, next up, the swamp. All right, so this is the big swamp exhibit. Wow, I don't know if you can see it, but that's just, well, that's water. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think the camera shows as much or how cool it is. Yeah, we got a couple alligators over here. There we go. Yeah, this guy's just sitting in the light, eyeballing us. They're staring at each other. Now he looks like he's just staring at us, being real steel. I think they're staring at each other and playing the staring game, staring game, see who blinks first. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, these exhibits are amazing here. That's the alligator the snapping turtle. I haven't seen him yet. One in there somewhere. But just the way the exhibit is designed is so awesome. It's really like being in a swamp in Louisiana at night. And it even smells like it. He's two feet across easily. Oh my gosh! Like the biggest one, the biggest one is left. All right, Gorilla Valley. Let's go check that out. Now we got a gorilla here. Taking a nap. It's like he's just ignoring everybody. <laughs> He's like, I'm yeah, the kids are trying to get him to wake up, but he won't. Yeah, he looks totally bored. He's looking through a little sky uh, walk there. Yeah, they can. He's reacting to this little kid. <laughs> Sea Lion Shores. It's like they come above water to take a look at us, isn't it? Yeah. You want him to do something, and if he does what we want him to do, he is rewarded. You'll notice he has hand signals. As soon as he performs a completed task, he gets a, a, a reward. <laughs> Over on the other shore, he's doing a little bit. love the way they designed it. It's really like being like uh, in the mountains in the Northwest. Even got a big uh, nest right there. So far this is the best designed zoo that I've ever seen. And we're barely 20% into it. That is really cool. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that is awesome. Asian Highlands. 
All right. You can hear the Asian music in the background. <laughs> yeah, hear that? It really sets the tone and atmosphere, doesn't it? Sloth bear. This is the tiger exhibit. Yeah, tiger falls. Tiger falls, they call it. Yeah, appropriate. Don't see him though, or don't see any tigers. Yeah. There's the tiger. Oh, there he is. You can see the dome in the background there. The other side of that tree. And the choo-choo train. Here it comes. <laughs> you can see that dome right there. It's an Indian rhinoceros. Mm -hmm. There's that one that was behind the gate. I guess maybe he's not been a good boy he's not allowed in the main one <laughs> the stingrays <laughs> did you try uh, did you try to pet it oh wow well if that's all you i'm not going to Yeah, they want you to pet them, don't they? Yeah, they do. He likes that. <laughs> African tortoise. Basking in the sun. Living the good life. Except that he's in a cage. <laughs> it's for the lions. And you can see uh, that's a female sunning herself right there. Cheetah. Crocodile mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely wants he definitely wants us to give him some food. Well, the elephants have a huge enclosure outdoors. We couldn't find them because they're inside. Here they are. There's some rhinos over there. It's really pretty up here. I know. I, I feel like I'm in Africa. <laughs> and it might be hotter than there. Yeah. Did you know there were nine subspecies of giraffe in Africa? Of course I knew that. You did not know that. You're such a liar. <laughs> they have different patterns, and this one pattern looks kind of freaky. I've never seen it before. It doesn't look freaky. It looks awesome. Well, I want to see it on an actual giraffe and not a picture. Oh, okay. That turtle, he's just moving around all over the place. Dude, that clip spring is still in the same position. I know. We are in the butterfly exhibit. This is the most butterflies I've ever seen. <laughs> They're everywhere. Yeah, it's amazing. It's like fly all around us too.
Where's the purple one? Oh. Yeah, sure enough. It was a cool looking one that was black and bright pink. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, look at that. This one wants to get out of here, doesn't it? He's like, well, why can't I go any farther? He's too smart. He doesn't know that he's doing glass. He wants to explore the world. And uh, this how glass long, is keeping him. How long is it going to take him to learn that he can't go any further this trip? He hasn't learned yet, I guess. Alright, hey, put some glasshoppers here. Stick. Giant prickly stick insect. Looks like a dead leaf ending, didn't it? You knew there was penguins here somewhere. Fish is like getting in, he wants to be in front of the camera. Look at him. He's like, huh, come on. Film me, film me. Quit looking at that uh, seahorse. Yeah, that seahorse. They're not that great. That seahorse is pretty cool. I don't care. <laughs> That's such a weird creature. Another beautiful exhibit. Uh, we're completely through the zoo. Took us most of a day, huh? Mm -hmm. Took us most of a day to get through, mm -hmm. but it was awesome. Yeah, it was. Uh, it is the best zoo I've ever seen. So uh, yeah. it deserves its ranking. Pretty nice zoo. <laughs> anyway, so that's it for this video. And there's that uh, dome there. That's it for this video. Up next, we're going to Lincoln, Nebraska. So be looking for that.